All right, the second exercise of this workout, this is the, we, we'll call this workout number one of the week, for lack of a better term. The second exercise is a, it was originally called a guillotine press by a lot of people. Mr. Ron is the first one, I believe, that invented this exercise. He gets the credit. He was, he was way ahead of his time. The Iron Guru, you can look him up. Um, I call this a clab bench for clavicle. I don't like it called the neck press and I don't like guillotine. It's a little too freaky for me. So clav bench for short is what I call it. But whatever Vince Deronda says is good enough for you and me. So what you do is, first thing is, it's a really, really wide grip, right? So an Olympic bar, it's all the way out to the far knurl, right? And I'm using a real light weight. And later we'll show you the actual workout where we use some decent weight. And you're coming down, a normal bench press will look like this, right? About to your pec line, nipple line. That's a normal bench. So to see what's going on here, see, it's to the neck. See how much deeper that goes? Now, we always knew this felt really good and you really got sore and it was really cool. But with time comes, the fact that we have EMG studies that show that indeed that exercise works more muscle for the pecs than any other exercise. So more than an incline press, right? More than a, that is the ultimate chest developer. So that's the second exercise. We're going to start with a row, right? And we're going to work in the same plane of motion. And immediately after we set that down, we're going into this exercise. And today we will. The rep schemes doesn't really matter, but today I already know what we're going to do. This sounds extreme, this one we're going to start so light. We're going to do eight sets of eight. We're going to do eight sets of eight on the row and superset eight sets of eight with the press. Today's chest, back, and shoulders. Then we're going to do a Scott press, and I'll show that later.